Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Ramona Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video, I'm gonna share with you five Glam DIY decoration ideas for your Christmas decorating. We continue our season with this compilation of five Glam decorations to inspire you to create something beautiful. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with the friends. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's next for this Christmas 2021 season. Are you guys ready? Oh, before we start, don't forget to like this video, a thumbs up and let's get started. The rose gold, gold and silver that we did. If you guys have not seen that Christmas tree, it was absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna link it up right now. And it's also gonna be done in the description below. All right, everyone. So, so far we have added our Dollar Tree ornaments and ribbons. We have added our Walmart ribbon and also some ornaments as well as these beautiful butterflies. And so now our tree is looking fabulous. However, I really don't think a tree looks absolutely gorgeous unless it's three dimensional. And the way we do that is by adding some picks like this right here. And this came from Hobby Lobby. I've spent about probably $30 worth of picks. We have the cedar ones and then we also have these glittered ones. They are just gonna make all the difference on the tree and it's gonna make it look three dimensional. So what I like to do is I just like to find spots like right here where it needs to uh, come out and as you guys can see this gives it like a lot of depth so what I like to do is I just like to go all the way around my tree and what you want to do is you want to give this a bend like this so you can insert it and it'll still come out so I want to make sure that I put one right about here and as you guys can see it just gives it that three-dimensional tree look and I absolutely love it. So I figured that to continue on that theme this year, I'm gonna show you how to put a gorgeous wreath together to match that theme. The very first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna bring a lantern. I wanna have a focal point and I have chosen this lantern that our friends here should know that I have um, available and it is the perfect size. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go from the loop right here and I'm gonna grab one of these bristles and I'm gonna twist it all the way back to make sure that it's wired in together. And then we're gonna do a cluster of ornaments in the inside. So to do that, I went ahead and just put a wire from one side to the other one and I attached it and that's going to be our hook for our ornament. So that lantern is not going anywhere. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a beautiful bow. And here, as you know, they have the best ribbon selection and I chose this really pretty um, rose gold with the back. I used actually something similar last year at my mom's house uh, to do on her banister and it was red with a gold backing. Well, for this occasion, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it on the floor and I'm gonna start right here on the top. And you guys know that I just like to grab these bristles and twist them together like this. We'll go back and dovetail that. I'm gonna give it bigger loops because there's going to be some other elements. And you guys know that if you're gonna put any other elements to your wreath, then those loops need to be bigger. So that way you can give them a little crinkle like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I attach with my bristles like this. And thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this holiday season. I am so excited to be working with our friends at Shinoda because they have allowed us to use all of these beautiful materials to give you guys ideas on how to create something beautiful. And just so you know, if you see any product that you like, they've been gracious enough to invite you to use my wholesaler because it is a wholesale only, but you can use my wholesaler um, ID and you can just call the store and all of their information is gonna be down below. So you guys can create something beautiful if you see something you like, because let me tell you when, when I say that they have some of the most gorgeous product, I am not lying. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cross this way real quick and I'm just gonna continue. And you know, it's okay if you sometimes put the gold side facing, it's a beautiful lame. And just make sure you go all the way in and twist those bristles. And then you do another loop. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and use the rose gold first. And then you do a bigger loop because remember when you add or other items, you don't wanna lose your ribbon, okay? So then I'm gonna twist and see the gold first. And this is just gonna be our first layer and I'm gonna put it right here and look how easy that is. Now, I don't wanna do anything right here cause I wanna do a bigger bow, but we do have another ribbon that I want to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this gorgeous mesh and actually I have it in the gold and I have it in the rose gold. So I'm gonna drop both of them down on the floor 
I'm gonna layer the real, oh, look how gorgeous this is. I'm gonna layer the uh, smaller one on top. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here. Now I'm gonna go closer to the front and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna make bigger loops like this and I'm gonna look for those bristles and look how gorgeous it just glimmers and shimmers and you separate it like that. Now the first ribbon, it's more like your show ribbon. So you don't want to uh, hide it very much. You wanna make sure that it really shows, but because this guy really catches the light, as you guys can see, that I want it to be more forward. I'm gonna cross you real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here. As I was telling you, this is inspired by last year's Christmas tree that I did, you know, we did three different um, price tags. I first added the Dollar Tree stuff, which is your basic filler. Then I added some of the Walmart stuff. And then I added some of the Hobby Lobby stuff and it just ended up being a absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas tree that I was so proud of. But this year we're gonna be doing so many themes and I really just hope that if you're not subscribed to this channel, you consider subscribing because you will not want to miss any of the Christmas DIYs that we have for you this year. It's going to be magical, let me just tell you. All right, you guys, so I have finished the second round of this gorgeous mesh, and I'm, I'm sorry, but this is just absolutely stunning. I don't know if the light can catch it. I am in love with it. Um, and so what I wanna show you is that I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here with my bristles, and I wanna leave these two little tails, and you can pull and make them as long as you want. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and give it a loop right here. I'm gonna pinch right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and attach with my bristles once again, just making sure that I found the ones that really work for this. And then what I want you to do is I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few more tails. So we're gonna do this throughout the wreath and make sure that they are dovetailed. And look at that, it just gives you extra tails all over the wreath and I love that look. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time so you guys can see. So basically just dovetail your ribbon first and then go ahead and find a place, give it a a tail like that, then find a place to attach it. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this right here. And then make sure that those loops are showing somewhere. And then what you can do is either do a another poof of ribbon, or in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and do tails. And that way it's giving you all these beautiful tails on your ribbon. Look how gorgeous that is, absolutely stunning. All right, let me get ready for step number two and I'll be right back with you, stay tuned. Woo, that's a lot of ribbon, check this out. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this straight up right now, and then we'll go back and dovetail them according to our measurements, our wreath. But first, I have one of these wires. It's a 22 gauge wire that is taped on florist tape. And if you guys don't know about this, uh, this is what we use in the floral industry to cover wires so it doesn't hurt our fingers. And then also it has a stickiness to it which will really help us tie in. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tie my whole bow and tell me this is not absolutely stunning. And like I said, it is perfect for that rose gold and gold theme that you guys love so much. So basically I'm gonna go ahead and tie it right here and give it a few spins. And then I'm gonna go straight to the wreath and I'm gonna attach it and then we'll fluff our bow. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't go through my, I'm gonna take it off the stand and I'm gonna go ahead and, cause it is kind of thick. So I have to make sure that I tie it really well. All right, so now that we have it all attached, I'm gonna put it back into our stand and then we're gonna give this bow a really good fluff. Cause as you guys can see, it's rather flat right now, but look how gorgeous. Oh, I'm just in love with this ribbon. I know I'm gonna have glitter on me for days, but I'm gonna give this bow a really good fluffing and I'll be right back with you, okay? Keep watching. Okay, so a few years ago, I showed you guys how to make the ornament clusters and I have a video all about them and explain why we should do clusters like this. 
I'm also gonna link that video up here right now so you guys can check it out. We talked about the clusters and then also the ribbon waves that I show you guys how to put together for a Christmas tree that we will also be using later on this season. But what I want to show you is how easy it really is to add some pizzazz to your wreath or Christmas tree just by adding these ornament clusters. You poke all the way through and then you pull and look at that, it just gives you a cluster of ornaments and all you have to do is attach this wire to one of the bristles really tightly so it doesn't come off and automatically gives you that pizzazz. So I'm gonna do three and you know that in the floral industry we like to do the triangle, the famous triangle I always talk to you about on floral design. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down here almost next to this ornament. So I'm gonna just go ahead and insert the wire as far in as I can and then grab it from the other side if I can find it. <laughs> All right, let me look for it real quick. You kind of have to go in, dig in for it with your finger. There you go. And then you pull tight like that. I'm gonna disappear for a second, but I'll tell you that I'm just attaching to one of the bristles. And as you can see, it just automatically gives you some pizzazz. And I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the other one. So I'm gonna disappear for a second. I'm gonna cross the camera. And I want this to be right here. So I'm gonna pull my wire through, find it. The hardest part is to find the wire. And then very, very carefully, you attach right here on the back and attach that wire to one of the bristles and it will automatically disappear. As you guys can see, it just added some ornaments and it just make it look fuller and just absolutely gorgeous. So the last thing we're going to add is going to be these absolutely stunning rose gold picks that Shinoda has here. And look how gorgeous these are. It comes pre-wired. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a clip right here. And I'm gonna start right here going the same way that we went with our picks of floral. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert right here. Just make sure that I go as far in as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach with one of my bristles. And look how it just gives it that three dimensional look. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach another one clip that stem and I'm gonna go ahead like this so make sure that you dig deep into your glue and let it go down so I'm gonna go ahead and go like that and look how gorgeous you don't even need very many of them because they really do make a difference all right so I'm gonna clip right here and then go ahead and dip into my glue and then I'm gonna go this way now And look how beautiful that just adds so much more depth and dimension to your wreath. And it's really, it's really about these last details that make any wreath really pop and make it look very festive. All right, I have a few more. I'm gonna cross you right here. And look at that. All right, two more and we'll be basically done with this gorgeous wreath. So what do you guys think about this beautiful wreath? I also love sharing this with you because as you guys can see, it's so glam and very easy to make. It really makes a statement. And just so you know, there is a glam lantern swag that matches this particular wreath and it's going to be on the iCar, right? I think the iCar is right here. It's right here. The iCar is right here. You'll see it pop up on your screen and it's also going to be down in the description box below because that lantern did not make the cut. However, there is a lantern coming up right now. So let's watch. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do for this lantern idea is that we're gonna drive a wire through the opening right here in the back, and then we're gonna fold up and we're gonna swirl it around our hanger or holder right here. And the reason why is because we're gonna hang some things from there, and I wanna get to doing that before I do the topper, which we're doing next. It is super simple. You guys have seen it on prior um, lanterns that I've done, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one up like this, major it kinda where you would like it to go. And then I'm gonna do one opposite like this. And I wanna make sure that I do a greenery first, then one of these tinsel ones. And then I'm gonna repeat with the, t uh, the greenery, but I'm gonna go through the tinsel so that I kinda weave together. And then I'm gonna do the same with this tinsel right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and weave them together. 
Then with one of my trusty, 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 I cannot live without these guys, zip ties. I'm gonna zip tie these guys together like so. Here we go again with the like so. I really wish I knew the person. I went through the, uh, I went through my comments to see if I could find it, but I cannot find it. So if you are the one that says you were gonna have a drinking game every time I said like so, please leave me a comment below. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my bow. Look how gorgeous this bow is, you guys. I love the mixture of metals. This is a funky bow, and if you guys don't know how to make a funky bow, as I mentioned to you, I have a video where I made exactly this bow, and I've been hanging on to it for dear life because I knew we were gonna need it for this project. All right, so once you put your funky bow right here, go ahead and give it a little fluff. How gorgeous this is. Oh, I love the mixture of metals so much like this. Make sure you mix them all like this. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this guy up here to our lantern. So, so far so good. I'm gonna put this guy to the side and show you guys what I want to do. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of these wires and I made an S hook. And this hook is going to hang onto that wire that we put in there and our ornaments are gonna hang from here. And I have this cluster of beautiful um, pine cones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy through like this and just let them hang. And I'm gonna start building from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one next and I'm gonna measure because I wanna stagger them and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in there like that. Then I have this beautiful mercury glass ornament. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it right there. Then I'm gonna add one of these beautiful snowflakes that I own from years past. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and swirl it on this S hook. Super easy, super easy idea. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy right here and I'm gonna go ahead and insert him on my S hook. And this S hook or this wire is an 18 gauge wire, which is the thickest, and it is wrapped in a forest tape like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert this other snowflake on the other side. Oops, that happens when you have your hands full. All right, so I have this cluster of ornaments that I'm gonna go ahead and put then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go up into my ornament and find that wire and hook it. And just like that, you have this beautiful display of ornaments. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the bottom with these gold ones right here. Basically just gonna drop them in, alternating between all kinds of ornaments just to give it more texture. That way the cover is not, uh, the bottom is not exposed. Go ahead and Grab some of these beautiful ones. Make sure that you put some facing out. Okay, let me remove this guy. Then for our final touch, what we wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these lights right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and face it my way. That way I can show you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it into that wire that we drove up there. I'm gonna find that wire and then I'm just gonna, because it is a wire, then it all should just stay there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl this light all the way around all of these ornaments, making sure that uh, I do it tightly so that way it stays in place. And then the rest of the wire that we have here with the lights is go ahead and put it on the bottom so those ornaments on the bottom also shine Go all the way to the back and pull. You wanna make sure that all these fairy lights are evenly distributed like this on the bottom. And then what you need to do is you need to hide your uh, mechanics, but you wanna make sure that you have your, your uh, switch up. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. And then you wanna hide all of these mechanics with another ornament. All you have to do is finesse. That way you have your um, switch right here at hand and you can just turn them on anytime you want. And I absolutely love this look, you guys. It is so glam, so beautiful and perfect for your holiday decorating.
So what do you guys think? If you've been following the channel, you know that I love to decorate lantern, whether it's for fall or Christmas, and there is so many ideas coming your way this holiday season. There's so many DIYs that I cannot wait to share with you. But if you've been following the channel, you also know that one of my favorite things to do is centerpieces. And I wanna share with you this beautiful and super easy winter wonderland centerpiece DIY. Keep watching. So let's get started. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and glue these guys right here down to your tray. That way it's stationary. Then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're gonna wrap this garland around to cover the mechanics. And I would recommend just take your time on this step, make sure that it's tight. The tighter the garland it is, then the easier it is to work with. Just go ahead and snip right here the excess of it. This is really, really easy. Just go ahead and get rid of it and just tie right here together and just tie it as tight as you can. Now don't worry about not being glued down because we're gonna put so much stuff in it that it will hold it in place. Once you've done that, I recommend to go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys over to the other side over here. Just go ahead and uh, fluff it a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with our ribbons and for this particular centerpiece, I have chosen gold and silver because I want it to stay very glam and very frosty. So it's gonna be a lot of silver, a lot of gold and a lot of white. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my silver ribbon and my gold ribbon at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here just by twisting that ribbon. Then what you're going to do is, actually I'm just gonna drop him on the floor like I always do. Give him a little loop. Go ahead and tie and split. And this Lacey Susan really does come in handy uh, to show you guys how I go around. And I wanna go around this centerpiece twice. The reason why is because I want it to look really full to where before I just do it once, this time I'm gonna go ahead and do it twice. It's gonna give you that um, deco mesh look of the fullness of the deco mesh. However, it's gonna give you the luxurious look of ribbon. And I absolutely love playing with this ribbon and it came from Walmart, that both of them came from Walmart. They're really affordable. And as you guys can see, it's really fluffing out really, really beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more loop right here to close it. And then what I'm going to do is with the next round of loops, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a zigzag in and out, all right? So I'll show you. What we need to do is grab your loop, form your loop, then we're gonna go in right here. We're gonna secure, split, and then we're going to go out, all right? And that zigzag is going to really give it a really full look. So because we went out, we split, now I need to go back in. And you can also twist your ribbons. So now the gold is up on the top. And just by grabbing these bristles right here, let's go ahead and tie it. And don't worry about fluffing until the end. I always like to just work as fast as I can, and then I go ahead and fluff towards the end. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down because I went up on the last one. I am going to go downwards like this. And as you guys can see, it really is filling in. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this Christmas series. I really wanna know what you think about my mom's staircase, if you guys enjoy that video. I cannot wait to show you the next one um, on my mom's house. Uh, I recorded four videos total and I also love the way her home turned out. She loved it. We've never really decorated for the holidays at my mom's house before and she also loved it, which made me really, really happy. So I cannot wait for you guys to see the rest of that series. All right, I think I have two loops left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut. And as you guys can see, it lo looks really full. And when I cut, just make sure you dovetail those ends. In case you see them, then it doesn't look as awful. All right, then what you wanna do is just go ahead and do a quick fluff. And I will take care of it in a minute. But what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting some of this beautiful frosted greenery that I found at the dollar store. And remember, the last time I did a centerpiece, I told you that what goes up must come down. 
And this is exactly what I mean. You put one up, then you put one down, and that really gives it a balance. And then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and twist. Well, first of all, take these pesky tags off and just cut. You know, when I do a centerpiece, I just like to cut all of my materials at the same time because that will save me a lot of time when I'm doing this. It's called prep work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one up and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one down and just make sure that you insert into the foam and you can really hear it when it goes in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this ornament that is like the biggest one. As you guys can see, it is recycled. So when I recycle ornaments like this, I like to go ahead and put the glue in the exact same spot that it was. So that way you cannot tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spin and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the next one opposite side. And I always like to do the biggest ornaments up on the top because it all help us really cover a lot of ground. As you guys can see, they make focal points. Then what I like to go ahead and do is add a medium size right next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one medium right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one, but I'm gonna add it down. It just makes more sense for it to be down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right here. Then I'm gonna go in with some smaller ones and I'm gonna go ahead and always remember to put your, if you're done with the project, just go ahead and take it apart and store it. Don't, don't just have it laying around because if you store it properly, if you take it up pro properly, you can always reuse all this product. Look you guys, if I don't tell you it's recycled, you would never know. All right, my guests will never know. So then I have two focal points right here. Then I wanna do is I want to add a few more so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add one right here and then I'm gonna spin all the way around and go to the opposite side and I'm gonna go ahead and add yet another one all right I'm gonna add one right here and that way our centerpiece has ornaments all the way around now if you guys remember this is what I want you to remember remember that I told you we needed to save these little picks a long time ago, I told you that we needed to save these little picks the florals come with. Well, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this to insert one of our snowflakes. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and cut those snowflakes from the thread that they come in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some glue on the snowflake. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it right here. And so what that's going to do is we're going to create a pick. And you'll be able to pick this ornament. All right, so this is a little bit of a prep work, but look, I have a pick with an ornament. And so what I can do is I just wanna go ahead and insert that ornament, it'll stand right there. How about that? Let me do another one. I have a whole collection of them over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue and just smear it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and insert into that floral pick. And you can do this with pine cones, you can do this with ornaments and look at that. And so now, you, instead of having an ornament, you have a pick. And then what you can do is just go ahead and insert on your foam, like that. And look, how cool is that? You have a standing ornament. Thumbs up for that little trick of the trade. Then I have this really long one, and I absolutely love this one. I could not wait. This came from the dollar store, and I could not wait to use this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue and just smear it so it really hangs on to your pick. Then what you wanna do is just go ahead and insert it right there. And look at that. It all dry like that and then now you have a beautiful snowflake. And I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it like that. And so I have another one of those. I have two of each. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab me another one of these green picks uh, because we're doing a snowy Centerpiece, I would recommend you can uh, paint them white if you want. But for the purpose of this, that's if you want, not really, you're not gonna see them, so. There you go, and look at that. You have yourself a pick. 
Whoa, how cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert this guy, but I'm gonna insert it down here. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that one of my favorite things to do is centerpieces. In this frosty, beautiful Glam centerpiece was so much fun to share with you. Now, the other thing that I love to talk about here on my channel is how to create a cohesive home, especially during the holidays. And one of my tricks is to use the same elements. Right now, I'm gonna share with you how to decorate a mantle in the same Glam theme, but not before I tell you that if these are not the colors you are using, what I'm trying to teach you is a technique change the colors and the patterns and create the same technique and you also will have a very cohesive home this holiday season. So now let me show you how I decorate this mantle. All right, everyone. So the things we're going to need to make our fabulous Christmas Glam mantle is going to be a variety of ribbons and this all came from Walmart and Dollar Tree. I have a silver one, I have a gold one, and I also have a rose gold one that came from Walmart. Then I also have this beautiful glittered one that came from the dollar store as well as two rolls of this deco material that also came from the dollar store we're going to need a variety of these beautiful fern glitter picks from the dollar store as well as some variety of ornament clusters that i have pre-made to just make our job easier and faster but these are done in gold silver rose gold and a little bit of champagne and you can find these ornaments at uh, Walmart and then also at the dollar store. Um, what I have done right here is I have put my garland on our mantle. And this time I actually swagged it down because I want to make it look fuller with all of the ribbons and all of the ornaments that we're going to put in it. So what I did is I just went ahead and swagged this down and then I went ahead and put a mirror. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my candles up just kind of to center all of our design. So we're gonna go ahead and frame that mirror with these candles and we're gonna go ahead and just add a beautiful treatment to this. So let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this on the floor and I'm gonna start probably from this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this ribbon a bit of a give and I'm gonna go ahead and attach right here just with my ribbons and as you guys can see i'm not really putting any kind of special treatment on it so basically i just give it a little give and i just pinch with my with my bristles on my garland and if you guys have not seen our last mantle that i did with a the snowman theme and if that's your theme i really recommend you watch it because it was super fun and as you guys can see right here, there's not much of a pressure that I'm putting. And I want you guys to understand that to design a mantle like this, you do not have to uh, put any pressure to it. And also to mention that I had already put the lights in it. Uh, we'll plug them in in a second. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gold ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on the floor. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the same and just intertwining just make sure you secure it with one of your bristles and just go ahead and intertwine those like this. Give them a little bit of give and I want this to be really full of ribbon, but notice that I'm not really pushing it into the garland. I'm just letting it slightly, slightly cascade all over my mantle. And this is really creating a beautiful full look. Just grab anything with a wire and just go ahead and bend that ribbon in like that. As you guys can see, it's super easy. But just make sure that you have something with a wire that holds it down and then go ahead and give it a zigzag. You wanna kinda go in and out of your design. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this right here like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch with my with my bristle. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the silver one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same, just drop it on the floor. And as you guys can see, this is really helping to create a more thicker garland. So your garland doesn't really have to be really massive because your ribbons and all of your ornaments are gonna do the job for you. So just go ahead and pinch. And you can also do this uh, on a table if you wanted to. Uh, and then just go ahead and bring it to the mantle. But I like working on the mantle because, well, 
it really does help to um, kind of envision what it's looking like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here. Then very loosely, notice that I'm not pushing into the garland. For this treatment, you do need quite a bit of ribbon. So I'm gonna say one bolt of each type of ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of give. Bring it over here, grab one of my bristles and pinch. So we're gonna stop right here. Then what I'm going to do, is so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of this deco material. And the reason why I like to put this at the end is because it really helps me fill in where the ribbon didn't go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just the same. Just go ahead and drop it on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little pinch right here. And notice also I'm always starting on the same spot. It is easier to do that. And with this, I wanna go ahead and create some poofs. And that way, it will help you fill in on all of those spots. And if you guys can see, this is super easy. You could just do ribbon. I don't see why not just do ribbon, but we're gonna go in with some beautiful ornaments to help us fill in this Christmas design. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, this deco material is a little more difficult to work with because it, once it twists, you cannot untwist it. So you have to really be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch this one right here like this. And look what happens when, uh, because it comes in a roll, it tends to just unroll itself. You have to go in and kind of play with it. Just go ahead and grab one of your bristles right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and twist right here. I'm gonna create a poof. Then I'm gonna grab one of my bristles from here. I'm gonna pinch it. And at this point, you just have to keep unrolling this you know, another set of hands really would come in handy right now because if you just had somebody else hold it for you, then we wouldn't have to worry about unrolling it. But since we don't have an extra set of hands today, then we just have to go in and unroll, create a poof, and then pinch with your bristle. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy right here. All right, so far so good. It's looking really full, fuller than it was. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead go in with these picks and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in on the corners. Okay, so now I just wanna take a second to invite you to come and join me on my Instagram for daily Insta stories behind the scenes and all of the things that you won't get to see here on YouTube. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're really missing out on all of the behind the scenes fun. The links are gonna be linked down below in the description box below. All right, let's get back to the video. If you have plenty of them, just go ahead and put some right here in the middle like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add another one here in the corner to kind of mark my points. And as you guys can see, you can really see that um, glittery effect going on. So then what I want to do is I'm gonna go in with these clusters of ornaments, and if you guys have not seen how I show you how to do the clusters, I'm gonna link it up right now. It is a super easy method, and look what it does. All you have to do is just one cluster, you grab one of those stems, and you just have all these ornaments. All right, so I'm gonna do one here in the corner. This really makes your job so much easier and faster because look, just with one cluster, you're really helping to fill in your um, garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross right here. And all you have to do is grab one of these bristles, twist that pipe cleaner into place. I'm gonna go ahead and add one right here because we want ornaments all the way down. So it's super easy, all you have to do is just grab that pipe cleaner and twist it into the garland or one of the bristles. And just like that, it gives you a lot of bank for your buck. I'm gonna go ahead and add these ones right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add these ones right here. Once again, just twisting that pipe cleaner into the garland. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more and then we're gonna go ahead and do a treatment to the mirror just to tie it all together. But first I wanna make sure that this one goes right here. And as you guys can see, it's just that easy and simple. You don't, there's no 
you know, there's no much fuss going around about it. It's just basically doing a beautiful flocked garland and adding all these beautiful ribbons and these ornaments and there's not much going on really. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually open one of these ribbons right here. And what I'm going to do with the glittery ribbon from the dollar store, let me get this plastic off. Oh, shall I get my scissors because they're so hard to get out of the plastic. But all right, so you basically just free your ribbon from its package like that. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and cut tails. So I wanna say probably about 10 inches then you fold it in half, then you dab tail like this, then you go ahead and just pinch. And I'll show you this on the snowman tree, this trick like this, you just basically do tails and then you go ahead and attach them with one of your bristles and then you fluff and look, that just gives you extra glittery and really pretty uh, texture. And I also love this ribbon, look at you guys, it's so beautiful full of glitter and glam. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more, just basically pinch and fluff. And then you go in and just with one of your bristles, just tie it around and look at that, so pretty. It's just a trick that I learned a few years ago from working in the industry. Um, when you don't have that many ornaments, you have to get creative with items, you know, to create more drama into your design. So just basically ribbon is all we had. So what we did was pinch like this, separate the tails, and look, I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. Just twist it with one of the bristles. I'm gonna do one more. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this holiday season. I've had so much fun. And our next Glam project will be our Christmas tree. And I could not be more excited. We've already done the centerpiece. We've done now the fireplace, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a really beautiful glam tree, and I cannot wait to show you guys that project. All right, so separate those tails. Let me see, I feel like we need one right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this ribbon, and that is turning out so beautiful, you guys. I wish you were here to look at it in person. It's just so glam and full, just how I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pinch right here, separate those tails, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it right about here. And remember to just twist one of your bristles so it stays in place, and separate those tails, and look at that. So beautiful. All right, so, so far so good. We have swagged our garland going down into our fireplace. We have filled it in with beautiful ornament clusters with beautiful glitter picks with ribbon tails in gold and a lot of ribbon to go around for everybody. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna create a treatment for the top of the mirror. So what I have done is I have this variety of picks in silver and then also in the natural flocked. So I just went ahead and did a swag. Um, this is the same swag that we used on our Glam wreath to match, which by the way, if you have not seen the Glam wreath that goes with this, it is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, stay tuned for the Christmas tree. So what I did is I just went ahead and created a beautiful large bow that I have attached with some pipe cleaners. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach all of this together like this to create a beautiful swag. And then what you do is you just fluff this funky bow. And there's also a tutorial if you don't know how to make a beautiful full funky bow like this. I'm also gonna link it up down below. All the videos that I have referenced, they're gonna be down below. So you basically just do your tails like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this mirror down for a little bit. And then it's super easy because all you have to do is grab your pipe cleaners right here and on your nail that it's hanging on your mirror, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Then I'm gonna put the mirror on top. So keep watching. All right, you guys, and just like this, you have created your very own and very glam Christmas display for your fireplace with a beautiful topper in the mirror. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Thumbs up if you like it.
Are you enjoying this gorgeous Glam collection of DIYs for Christmas for your decorating? I really hope you're getting some ideas. Now, decorating a mantle, it really is fun, but when you talk about decorating, whether it's for Christmas, fall, or any season, it starts at the door. So right now, I'm going to show you a beautiful wreath DIY that is Glam, gorgeous, and super easy and affordable to make. I really think you're going to like it. Keep watching. All right, you guys, just like in the lantern video, I have saved the glam look for last and it's going to be super fun. The things we'll need is some of these really pretty uh, tinsel picks as well as some snowy ones, the same ones that we used on our lantern. You can find these items at Hobby Lobby. I bought some rose gold with gold ornaments as well as these gorgeous jewel ones. And these guys are very affordable at Walmart. Right now, you can find some tinsel um, pipe cleaners at the dollar store and then I got silver gold and rose gold ribbons from Walmart as well these guys are very affordable they're only um, seven dollars I think I paid for 75 feet so that's a really good price and then I have made a funky bow uh, it's also my bow tutorial video that we're gonna use for the top so let's get started the very first thing I want to do is I want to create a swag so I'm gonna grab one of my trusty pipe cleaners and I'm gonna create, first I'm gonna give these guys a little fluff, this tinsel. Um, I can't believe they have this back at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely adore them. And what I like to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a curve just to go with the wreath like this. I could go ahead and attach them with the wreath, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and attach this on a swag. So what I like to do is, I like to do a swag by doing one of each on each side. And then I'm gonna repeat like this. And then I'm gonna put the other one on the bottom. So that you alternate them so it creates texture like this. And then what you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and attach all of this with one of your pipe cleaners. And then we're gonna put it to the side. Once you put your pipe, uh, your uh, zip tie, I'm sorry, you wanna go ahead and pull really, really tight. And then you wanna go ahead and cut the excess of it because you don't wanna see that. Then I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna get started with my ribbons. What I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to start with the rose gold. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on the floor like that. And because it's going to be a focal point right here, I'm just going to worry about this part. So I'm going to go ahead and attach like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring my gold one. And I also love this gold one from Walmart as well. They're all the same brand and the same basically uh, ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and attach it on the same spot right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring my silver one, which is also the same sheer ribbon. And as you guys know, I just like to drop them. Oop, I dropped them. And as you guys know, I just like to go ahead and drop them on the floor. So that way I have my hands free and I can work with my materials. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach all of them like that. Then what you wanna go ahead is you wanna go ahead and do a little loop like this. And then you attach and then you fluff. So you're gonna go all the way around this wreath. And I wanna mention that I went ahead and uh, spray painted this wreath with flat white spray. If you guys haven't seen that treatment, how I do that, I'm gonna link up a video you can watch right now from last year where I show you how easy it was to taking one of those wreath forms from green all the way to white. And that way it blends in with the glam look and the snowy look better. So what you wanna do is do a proof right here. Then you bring into your bristles and then you attach and then you fluff and you want to alternate when you fluff you want to make sure that you know the gold right here is in the middle right here is on the top right here is on the bottom just go ahead and alternate and then what you can do is you want to go ahead and spin like that so you can continue to work with it so you want to go ahead and attach a poof like that and then you fluff like so and then you just continue to go and then I'm gonna go ahead and spin right here with my gold on the top. I wanna say spray about eight to 10 inches poof, like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fluff. Oh, this came loose. Just make sure that you really go into those bristles. Then here's a trick. If you don't attach it really tight, what you can do is just can pull and then you can fluff like this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here with my scissors. Right here, it doesn't really matter how I cut because, well, you're not gonna see it. So then I'm gonna line them up one more time and I'm gonna go all the way 
again on the I'm gonna take it back where I started. I always like to take it back where I started. Then I'm gonna go on the outer edge. And this is gonna give us a really full look, almost like a deco material look. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and spin around, attach again, and fluff. Also, this is very reminiscent of that centerpiece I did a few years ago. I'm also gonna link them up down below. The really glim, that was my first glim pro uh, project that I've did here on YouTube. It was a super glim, all silver uh, centerpiece and I also love that. Like you guys can see, it's super easy. You just keep your ribbons together and if you just keep um, twisting that wreath and creating those loops. All right, so thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun showing you all these ideas and always keep in mind that what I'm giving you is the idea and you can change the colors and change the theme to accommodate your theme or your color scheme for Christmas. You do not have to do the exact same things. Uh, this is just the idea. It's the product that I have in hand or that I can find at my store. So if you don't find it at your store, no worries. Just go ahead and do it with your color scheme or with your theme and it'll be just as beautiful, even if not more. All right, so I'm gonna stop right here. As one of my old bosses say, uh, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead and then I'm gonna go ahead and fluff this guy right here. So then that way we have a double and then I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna drop those. Then I'm gonna go back to putting it upside down like this. We'll go back and fluff on the end but we're gonna go ahead and just leave it like that for now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach this guy right here on the top just with the bristles. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. See how easy it is? Instead of just having to attach every single piece, just by doing one swag and attaching it with my bristles, but I do wanna make sure that this is pretty secure, so I'm gonna do a double tie like that. Look how pretty it looks. So far, so good, and I like the way they spill forward because it gives them a lot of movement to your wreath. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the bow with exact same ribbons I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna put this guy on top of it all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the form and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it really tight, just like this. All right, put it back on the form. And then you wanna go in and fluff your bow, make sure that all of your tails, this is a funky bow and I like the funky bows for this project because it's just so full and so dramatic, right? Then we're gonna use these uh, ornaments and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cluster two of them together with the pipe cleaners. Just how I showed you earlier, you're gonna go ahead and grab this ornament, drive that pipe cleaner through the ornament, twist a little bit, and then you drive the other one through and then before you know it, you have two of them. Look how cute these are together, you guys. This you can find at Walmart. Then what you do is just go ahead and attach to one of the pipe cleaners. I like to go back and then attach right here on the back. So that way you don't see it. And then just to secure them in place, what you could do too is attach with your, with your bristles. Just attach them like that. I'm gonna do another one. That's why I was not so concerned about not having the whole wreath um, covered because we're gonna put so many ornaments on this wreath uh, that you guys are going to love it. So now I'm gonna go in with the really pretty one first. Then we're gonna attach this gold one just driving that pipe cleaner through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it prayer right here. Just with my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna go through the wreath form. Then I'm gonna pull really tight. And just like that, you see how it's filling in. I'm gonna do one more. So basically just attach one of these pipe cleaners. Like so, or this. <laughs> Now it cracks me up, you guys, every time I say like so, I'm gonna have to like watch what I say. All right, I'm gonna add yet another pink one. And look how gorgeous this pink, you guys. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so yummy. This would be perfect for a little girl's room. This would be perfect for a girl's apartment. Uh, it's just so glammy and beautiful. Absolutely love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach these guys right here. Just by driving that pipe cleaner and attaching it to one of the bristles. And then what you do is just cross two of these bristles right here between the ornaments, and then they stay right there. Just can play with them. 
So now I have six of those. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some gold ornaments and silver, we're gonna do some clusters and we're gonna add them to the wreath and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, everyone, so, so far we've added some gold ornaments, rose gold, our ribbons and our bow, as well as some picks to our wreath. Um, and I love the way it looks, but what I really loved about the lantern was the lights. So I went ahead and got another one of these um, lights. They are waterproofed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just twist them through the wreath just by going through the lights like this. You can go through the ribbon. There is no, there's no rhyme or reason. You're basically just um, swirling some lights around your wreath like this. And it's very important that the, the lights are waterproof because if it snows or if it rains, your battery pack will not get damaged so I'm gonna go ahead and put all these lights and you can just go ahead and twist it into one of your bristles um, like this. That's why I love working with these forms, you guys. Then you go through the lights and go through the wreath like this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and secure the battery pack all the way in the back. I'll show you. I'm gonna bring this all the way back. You just wanna go ahead and secure it with two of your bristles, but giving yourself access to it. And just like that, you have a beautiful, glam, sparkly wreath with lights and oh, it's just so beautiful. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let's go see what it looks like on the door. What do you guys think? I cannot wait to read your comments, so leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think and which of the five projects was your favorite. I had so much fun sharing all of this with you, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn that notification bell on because you will not want to miss what's coming up next. If you enjoyed this video, there's going to be a playlist right here with 20 DIYs to inspire you to create more beauty around your home this holiday season or you can just watch more videos right now thank you for watching consider subscribing until next time bye